Welcome to City Grill. My name is Rob Bohr. In this episode, I'm going to do a crispy Dijon mustard grouper. So, I have about two parts of Dijon mustard and about a big spoonful of mayonnaise. Uh, I'd go to like a two to one mixture on this, and I only have about a pound of grouper. So, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the mayonnaise and Dijon mustard. I'm going to add in just a little bit of garlic powder inside of that mustard and of course some cracked black pepper just like so you know just do that to how much you like whether it's garlic or the black pepper I might add just a little bit more of black pepper in there just like that and maybe just a touch more garlic I like the garlic flavor with this mix that up and basically this is our rub a liquid rub for for this grouper so I, I can use my hands or I can put the grouper inside of the uh, mixture just like so I want to coat all the sides of that grouper really nice and thick just just like that place it right here get the other one depending again how much meat you have will depend on how much of this uh, liquid Dijon mustard sauce you want to put on. So I'll coat that really good like that. Then the next step is to put on panko bread seasoning. So now I'll just go ahead and sprinkle on some panko on both sides of this fish. Actually I try to get all sides. I'm going to flip this over. So I'm going to panko will fall down. That's fine. And go ahead and spread it on the other side. And I'll just coat it really kind of heavy, really, for right now. And that'll, that'll be really good. Oh, that's going to be great taste. So I'll get the grill ready, and we'll cook it in just a few minutes. All right, I'm ready to put the fish on the grill. And I have the temperature at about 375. And what I need to do is put a little spray on a little bit of oil. This is olive oil. I'm spraying on the grates. So that way I can put the fish on the grill. So I'll go ahead and bring this grouper and place it on the grate just like so. These two burners are on low right now. So I'll just let that cook for maybe 20 minutes. I'll, I'll bring the temperature up just a little bit more. All right, it's been about eight to 10 minutes. I'm at 400 degrees still. And look at that grouper. That looks nice. Now these are thick cuts of grouper. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. Oh, that looks nice. i get my hand in there. And go ahead and flip it and cook it for another at least 10 minutes. I want to make sure that when I press down this, it's going to flake apart. Right now I can tell that's medium rare in the middle. Wow, we don't want that. We want it done all the way through. So um, I'll cook this for at least 10 minutes and check it again. So it's been another eight minutes. Wow, I'm almost at 450 degrees, but it's on low. You know, I have five burners on this grill, so I can really control the heat. Even though it's really hot, I can control how that heat is dispersing throughout the grill. So it looks beautiful. And you know, if I start to do this, see how see how that meat starts to pull away just like that? That tells me, oh wow, it, it is ready. I, I am ready to plate this up and eat it. This is a great recipe. Try it. Go to sillycitygrillin.com. Get the recipe. Uh, go to my YouTube channel if you like the video. Go ahead and subscribe. That will help me out. Thank you very much. Uh, try this. This is excellent.